Okay, Pisces, happy birthday to my Pisces out there. Let's see what we got going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to try to ring this bell very lightly. I do have my sage. Let's see if we can get some more. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces. Ooh. Okay. This wants to fall. Pisces. Energy. Powerful. Alright, so you might be thinking about a trip or a vacation, Pisces. Alright, like myself. For Pisces season. Let me see what we got going on for my birthday, Pisces, out there. Some Pisces are out there in Mardi Gras, out in New Orleans, celebrating, I hear, in the comments. Oh, wow, here's the High Priestess. I love it in the Empress. You know your value, Pisces. Okay, you know you deserve the best, honey. High priestess and the empress and the upright, beautiful. Ooh, okay. And it came right back out. Taurus, um, Libra energy. Okay. Now you know your worth, empress. Okay. It came out twice. It says, this is it. Let's see if it comes back out. You have the world. I'll tell you, some of us are traveling and you have money coming in here. Cha-ching. All right. Ace of Pentacles and the world travel. All right. So you might meet your person in the distance. You have the Knight of Wands reversed. All right, Aries the All right, this is a young, immature energy. Let's see what we got going on for Pisces. Aries the All If the Empress and the High Priestess come back out, I will keep it. That means it's destined. But that that's the uh, pre-shuffle Pisces. Let's see what we got going on for Pisces. That wands, king, well actually this is the uh, knight of swords, I'm sorry Pisces, Aquarius, but Gemini. I was about to blame it on the Aries Ale Sag. <laughs> when you have Aries Ale Sag here, the knight of wands and the knight of swords, uh, Aquarius, but Gemini. Two knights, two young energies, two young, young people, Pisces. Let me see. I was watching Mo Better Blues. Very good movie, you guys. This Denzel Washington was in it. Very good movie, so go watch that. Let's see what we got for Pisces. I'm going to take it because the cards jumped out. You have the Queen of Swords reversed, the Emperor, and the Sun. Okay, a, a boss or a supervisor here. It could also be re regarded a baby father here with the Emperor. That could be the father card. Some of us could be fighting with a um, one of your child's fathers, all right, or masculine energy you're upset with. You also have the Queen of Swords reversed, Aries, I mean, Aquarius, but Gemini for my feminine Pisces. And then you have the Sun, happiness here. Okay, let's see what it means. We're going to clarify Pisces. And we got the Sun. I like that. Or someone, what I'm getting, also someone could be giving you a hard time. Someone is hard to love. I think we got this in the last reading. Let's do, oh, okay. I don't have to ask spirit. Three of Wands, travel, distance. I told you guys, Pisces. I don't even need the tarot cards, literally. I really don't need the cards. Let me pull this up so you guys can see the whole, whole Pisces candle up a little bit. What we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two more cards for Pisces. It flipped around. And then you have the Queen of Cups reversed. Why is Pisces reversed? This Nine, nine of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. Sleepless nights. I was trying to avoid this card and it came back out. <laughs> when I was shuffling, I seen it and I was like, okay, let me give Pisces a break. But uh, it shows up again, Pisces. What is this? Some of us are having sleepless nights. Now, this could be a partner. I am going to do a partner reading because it is Pisces season. Even though you guys didn't, you know, thank you for those who did take the vote. But uh, once we get to 100, um, Pisces, I will go live. Okay. So let's get one more for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Or catch me live on my travels on my other channel. Let's see. Alright, so we do have the Justice card. This could speak of legal 
or you got that tax money coming when your taxes arrive go get you on a trip you might meet someone special traveling all right you have arguments coming out of arguing with someone and a three of cups reversed all right all right let's clarify i want to use this deck to clarify why is the knight of wands for pisces who is this air zeal sag for pisces reversed again if you had an emperor aries working on last nerves this person is still on your nerves or still can't see eye to eye with this knight of swords and queen of swords aquarius and gemini also have libra here and sun leo i don't see much water here actually we have no water so far let me see knights of wands for pisces watch this Five of Swords. Smile in your face. And then someone is talking behind your back, maybe. Emperor, again, could definitely be a horrible boss or a supervisor or someone who got their job doing, you know. I'm not even. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Behave, the priestess. Someone could have got the job basically by doing things that's unethical. And now they think they, they're they somebody's boss, but a horrible one at that. So you got Emperor here, Aries energy. Or you could have an Aries that's just very vicious. You know, Aries is not as nice as my Pisces. And you have this Queen of Swords reverse again. Crazy but Gemini. Someone could be phony and fake Pisces. I want to give this a hard shuffle. Who is this Knight of Swords for Pisces? You put your water out. You're, you're literally waiting for a soulmate. Look at that, Pisces. Beautiful. You have a soulmate. You're like, listen, if you're not going to value me and treat me high value, the high priestess, the emperor, then I don't want it. Knight of Swords. Here's, who is this? Now, the Knight of Swords is someone who runs without into a connection without thinking. Ten of Pentacles. All right. Unstable. You could be dealing with the unstable a crazy but Gemini here. Someone could be literally, they could be working your last nerves as well. And a crazy but Gemini here. A young and mature one. And you have the Knight of Cups and Cancer Chariot. Also be a Cancer. Let's see, who's the Emperor for Pisces? It came right out the Ten of Cups. Yeah, someone is unhappy here and it's the lovers. Six of Swords traveling. Love Pisces. Get your travel on. You got that Ten of Cups. So whoever you're living with, and then you have the Knight of Cups reversed. Unhappy home. This to me is not feeling like it's in the household right now. I'm feeling like this is a job with the Emperor twice. Alright, or maybe you work somewhere you're not happy. It's not making you happy where you work at. If it's a relationship, you're not happy. Or the person is going to realize, Pisces, that you're not happy. Nine of Swords twice. And then here's the Queen of Swords twice again. It's a crazy pajama for sure. Or here's the King of Pentacles, Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Aries Leo Sag. Alright, so you have the Nine of Swords again. It's like someone is trying to, you know, make you feel insecure and unloved. Or hard to love or something like that. This could also be a partner. And this could also speak of a job. I'm very, I'm feeling very, you know, strong about a job. And you have the seven of swords. Not trusting this connection. Who's the queen of swords? Who's this queen of swords? Oh, I was gonna, I was literally y'all gonna um redo the reading, and I'm so happy I didn't redo it because the queen of this queen of swords is here twice Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and it's reversed. So, y'all know I'm not making this up. Literally, the queen of swords twice reversed. 
you have someone very mean and then you have messages coming here someone is not nice someone could be talking behind your back negative but uh, again I always tell Pisces they're behind you for a reason or you have an crazy Gemini you need to keep a close eye on who's the son of Pisces why is this here Ten of Wands, and then here's the King of King of um, Cups reverse, and Justice Karma is in your favor, and then you have Empress, beautiful. You know your value. This person definitely could be okay. Pisces thinks she, she or he is better than me. You're damn right, because you're not gonna settle for less, and you better not, Pisces. And this person is pregnant. Someone could be pregnant with a child. And you have Justice. If you're not dealing with you know court issues with child support. Okay, so you do have ten of wands. If you are crying at night, someone made you feel insecure about yourself or you don't feel happy about the way things are going, it's going to lighten up soon with that um, ten of wands and the sun. Okay. You have the three of wands next. So this is about traveling and waiting or you might be waiting for something let me see three of wands whoa okay spirit Oof, that's you Pisces the hangman love it you're waiting what are you waiting for or you feel stuck you're unstucking yourself that's reverse the hangman releasing yourself or you're no longer waiting for someone. Here's the high priestess. The three of cups is behind and the page of cups. An apology. Are you waiting for an apology, Pisces? This person is not. I don't know. Let's see if they're going to apologize. Who's the nine of swords? Came out. Two of swords. Something you can't see. You have the king of cups reversed. And Pisces, Cancer, the secret. is a secret here. Somebody needs to apologize for something. That was not. That was a secret or something was hidden from you maybe this queen of swords a crazy be gemini so you do have something you can't see or you're pretending you can't see biases okay get your glow up on maybe you you know it is the season maybe things are transitioning you know with Pisces, you might have a little flare up, you know, breakout. It's gonna heal. Let me see the justice card. And you feel you feel why do you feel left out in the cold? Now this could be your partner if it's not you. Put the story how you see fit. You have that magician, voodoo, good do, and hoodoo. How would they say it? So you do have the justice card. Now someone could be trying to change that wheel of karma and make it turn into their favor, or that's the Gemini. Magician is Gemini. It is reversed. So that could be some type of good do voodoo. And you have five five. It's time for changes. Five of cups and five of pentacles. Alright. And you have this knight of swords again. Younger crazy but Gemini in here. This person could be missing you. But you're not settling for less. Let's get a final. And check out the other page. I will post air signs and earth signs on my second page i didn't have the time to literally post 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 but i'm going to do it i'm extremely you know busy right now king of wands is reverse airs the outside what is the final message for pisces oh taking that leap seven of wands and then you got okay i'm locked up Okay, so you got the seven of wands and the fool is reversed, not taking a leap, which I like the fool being reversed. It's like you're not going to just take a leap of faith. You're, you're not going to wear your heart on your sleeve. Okay, you're protecting your, your heart. It says love behind that behind that uh, jail cell or whatever that is. All right, you're breaking out. Come on out, Pisces. I like it. Actually, some of us are focusing on career as well. Two of Wands. Right? 
Okay, should we get an oracle or do a couple more tarot for my Pisces? Because I want this reading. I'm so used to doing tarot that the cards just come out so easily. Queen of um, Pentacles came out. Because I know everyone is like, show us the cards. You know, you guys want to see everything that flies out. It's about, it's about right. It's about accurate. You should. I want to blow the um, burn the sage really quick before we do the final. Here's the magician again. So let's burn some sage around this because this energy with these people are literally working your last nerves, Pisces. Okay, and then we're going to pull an oracle as well. You're just waiting. Some of us are just waiting. It's cold outside. Hopefully that warm weather comes back in the East Coast here. So let me see what we got for Pisces. What's the uh, message for Pisces? What do we got for Pisces? What's the message for Pisces? Yeah, and then you have the soulmate and the towel moment is reversed. I love it. And then you have the star and the fool, that Aries and fucking Aquarius. Oh, you can't curse that Aquarius. <laughs> so you have a major arcana that flew on the table with the towel reversed. I like the towel with transformation, but some of us are fighting change. You do have the soulmate twice today, which is good energy, good karma for my Pisces. You have the star reversed, healing. All right, so don't give up on your dreams. You do have that Aquarius energy here, and you have taken this leap of faith. I like it. Some of us might take this leap of faith and let down our guard with that seven of wands reversed. Five of cups. Missing someone coming out of their energy. Ready to take, ready to find an option. Ready to choose out of these options. Ten of Wands is here and you have that obsession. The Devil card and the Ten of Wands here in reverse, which is great. Re releasing these heavy burdens. Alright. To me, the Ten of Wands is, is like pain, agony. Some people say it's burdens, but uh, you're releasing it. It's reversed. So you have the five of swords and toxic energy. Someone is highly toxic here. All right. Or someone is regretful for being toxic. Okay. And this apology is still reversed. All right. But if Pisces, someone is waiting for you to apologize, you're not po apologizing right now. All right, so your advice, Pisces, is to move forward, okay? Start anew so you can get this soulmate. Take that leap of faith, the fool. Let down your guard. You do have Aquarius. Be careful with an Aquarius. You have Scorpio reversed. Also a crazy but Gemini. reversed all right so let's get an oracle for this reading start a new chapter what's the advice for Pisces what is the overall message here for Pisces we got this reading so go check out the other reading I'm going to reshuffle we already received this card yesterday, I believe. So let me do one more. Overall message. I mean, the message was very clear. It was literally about going out, get, you know, change. Take your place. You see? I called it. Take your place, number five. Okay, to know we are part of a great circle of life is to know that our place in this world is unique and distinct. The Divine Feminine has created a sacred space for us as big as bear, as fierce as fox, as majestic as eagle, claiming full ownership of our gifts is how we take up our rightful place. And when we take our rightful place with belonging and integrity, wow, women rises. Love it. See you next reading, Pisces. God bless and namaste.